Hey, welcome everybody to, I don't know if this is going to be a new LP, but play some Kenshi. Uh, anytime someone gives me a game, I think it's the right thing to do to at least show them or tell them how much you enjoy it or don't enjoy it so they don't do it again, I guess. And this game was just given to me by the guy that did the outro music for me. And he's a bit of a troll, but I think this is a pretty good game in all. So what Kenshi is, it's by this group. Well, actually, it's a developer that was originally one person called Lo-Fi Games, and they also published it. They self-published, like, directly onto Steam. Apparently, this was in development for, like, 12 years. And... It is very basic in some ways, very fleshed out in others. It's very hard to describe. Uh, it's like a sort of Mad Max, Fist of the North Star, squad-based RPG thing. I don't really know how you could possibly describe this. Dwarf Fortress adventure mode. <laughs> and I actually really enjoy fortress so that's a f very favorable uh, comparison from me I'm gonna start a new game new character and I'm gonna leave everything default this is I always try to leave things at default to, because I feel like that's the way the game was designed to be bounced around so messing with that uh, makes things I guess unusual. The only thing I turn off is bandits loot the players. Uh, if you get knocked unconscious by bandits, uh, knocked out is like the, the main form of being taken out of a fight. You don't usually die, but there's a chance of dying every time you're knocked out. It's like 1% or something. Uh, what they will do is they will take stuff away from you while you're knocked out. And that can be a major setback because you can lose all your food or your weapon and be completely defenseless and that will really suck so uh you you will get knocked out several times in this game that's part of the grind so i'm going to turn that off and that's the only thing i'll change i'm choosing the guy with the dog start because i'm pretty damn sure this is a fallout reference and this game also reminds me a lot of classic fallout in a lot of ways uh because you start with a dog and you start with 13 cats which is the uh, the uh, unit of currency it's Cathayan credits or something like that I don't really know all the details and you start with a dog so it's like the vault dweller and dog meat and the loading screens are some super awesome uh, What's it called? Concept art of the skeletons for the most part that I've seen. Also, this is not a very well optimized game. Uh, frame rates are eh. Uh, like the graphics, I have everything set to medium for performance. If you set it to low, you get like almost no extra frames, so I just don't bother. And here's a character creator. You're already seeing the kind of frame rate drop. Uh, it's pretty actually decent. This reminds me a bit of the character creator from uh, Mountain Blade, actually. E. So you can't really really make a good looking person. You can make a lot of ugly looking people, which I guess is kind of the idea. You're in the, the wasteland covered in dirt and baked by the sun and whatnot. I can't pick a cool hairstyle though. Anime. Uh, I should mention I have modded a few things in. Or not. I'm, I didn't do it, but you know, I downloaded some mods. And we'll just stick with a generic name. Uh, the races, there's a lot of choices. It can be a skeleton, which is one of the robot races. I guess the only robot race there. Uh, they're hated by just about everybody. <laughs> so you won't be able to use towns almost any towns, and um, they don't eat 
and they don't heal naturally. So you need to find a very expensive, and I'm talking 10 times the usual amount of uh, specialized first aid kits called skeleton repair kits to heal up. And every time, over time, you uh, take wear and tear damage, which lowers your maximum HP. So these are a very, very bad choice for a new player, but they are cool if you kind of know what you're doing and which uh, places will be racist against you. Hive, these are like, these kind of remind me of uh, the guys from Abe's Odyssey. What were they called? Mudmen? And they have different classes. They have crazy shaped heads. Mudakin? Was that Abe's Odyssey? Oh, whatever. And then the Sheks. These guys are like the, um... Oh, what are they called from Dragon Age? Those guys from Dragon Age that really like fighting, and they have like bone scales. So they're super tough. As you can see, they have more health, health hit points than usual. But they also eat a lot more, and they're crappy at every... Basically every skill, so I don't really usually mess with them. If you want to do nothing but fighting, I guess that's not a bad option. And then there's two types of humans. I'll just stick with a Greenlander. Randomize all. Oh, randomize all doesn't change your gender. That's interesting. So I actually lost the, the character I started with. That's okay. I don't really care. I usually just take Greenlanders. They're generic, they don't do anything super well, super badly. They're the generic experience, but no one hates them. No one will hate you based on your race if you're a human. So, it's not too bad. The only thing I will change is Bone Dog, which is, this is the dog you get. It's a crazy mutant dog. I'm going to call the Bone Dog. Dog, oops. Dog meat. Because I did mention it was like a... Uh, a Fallout reference starts you in this place called Bast. Uh, the only reason I like Bast is because there's two factions: the United Cities. Oh, don't go running off. Hold on, stay where you are. Oh, stay right there. You fucker. Okay. Uh, there's the United Cities and the Holy Chosen, or something like that. Basically, they go around in this desert and they fight all the time, and you can go to where they're fighting and loot pretty often. And that's a good way to get some starting gear, because everything in this world is based around money. You need money for everything. So I'm not going to take any of these guys' stuff, because they probably won't like it. Uh, a cool thing about the dog is you have an extra person to fight. And dogs are actually really competent at uh, fighting. Uh, the only problem is, at the early game, you don't want to fight. You just mostly want to run away. Ooh, see these frame drops? They're, they're fantastic. Uh, you don't want to fight at the start because you are have no armor. You have a really crappy weapon. Let's see. actually take a look at what my weapon is. It's probably just like an iron stick. Sure is, literally, an iron stick. So this is complete poop garbage. Oh, let's actually avoid those guys. I don't. This is probably the yeah United Cities Samurai. Uh, so you don't want to fight at the start. You want to gather up some money any way you can. Get yourself a bit of equipment. Keep yourself fed. And then. Uh, then you can start training up, uh, you, you gather people, you want to get, oh wow, I've never even seen a lantern before, um, you want to get a posse of dudes, and that makes you a thousand times safer, another lantern, wow, um, Basically, if all of your party is knocked out, then you're at the mercy of the enemies. They can take you prisoner. They can... Oh boy. What does that say? Doll, probably? 
They can enslave you. They can uh, outright kill you by eating you or eat you over time. Make you lose body parts. It's a really bad situation. Copper. And uh, if you have at least one person that's still alive, they don't do that. Ooh, nice. Um, so, grand strategy, grand strategy, whatever, is to, um, oh, what? Did I just throw it on the ground? I did. Is to have one person, like, hide when you fight, so that, oh, I'm not going to be able to carry that, uh, so that they can medic you when you're done. And you can basically uh, come back time and time again once you've done that. So I'm looking here at the weight and the value. Steel bars are really valuable. They're way more valuable than iron plates or copper. So let me just put these in here. Steal this. I might take one back. Seven. Those aren't too bad. You have super limited. I can take it all. I can take it all. I am pyre of dirt. Uh, I guess that's good enough. Oh, I'm way, way overweight though. If I do this, oh no. Do I want to risk running through the desert at what would be my speed? Four miles an hour? Ugh. Ugh. Oh wait, no, this is me. 3% encumbrance would be... Uh, nine miles an hour? Oh, six, excuse me. Okay, so the main thing with dogs is dogs will eventually grow up and be pretty badass fighters. But... At the moment, dogs are uh, basically a, a puppy, can't do anything. Also, the negative thing of dogs is they're very slow. Uh, when they get bigger and they're thus faster and you train them up with athletic skill a bit, doesn't matter so much because then you're standing and fighting. And uh, which direction am I going? I'm going to go this way. Yeah, I guess I want to go northward, like up here. Sorry, I did play. I, I practiced. <laughs> play a little bit to uh, ensure that this wasn't a complete garbage waste of time. Uh, so dogs are slow, and that will cause you to have to fight more, which you can't really do at the early game. Um can also make the squad match speed with each other, which should keep us together as a group. Paste is going real slow because of all the stuff I made him carry. 1%. Is there anything I can leave behind? I want to make lots of money when I get there. I can get copper anywhere. It's still real heavy. Damn it. This isn't worth a ton either. Hmm. <laughs> so we have no food and we're both really hungry. <clears throat> Stolen goods sell for less. If you try to sell something you stole from a faction back to a person from that same faction, there's a chance they'll notice and try to put you in jail. Oh, there's a battle going on over here. This is why I like this as a starting location. Um, uh, if you try to sell something stolen to the same faction, you can get caught and get in trouble. Um, but if you steal from someone and sell it to their enemies, they're like they're happy to take it, but they still will give you only half price because it's still stolen. There's also groups that will buy things from anyone for half price, as usual. 
and those are usually in the Shinobi Thieves, which you need to pay like a 10,000 cat uh, entry fee to join them. Let me actually zoom out. You have to kind of be tactically aware in this game, and I'm going to speed things up because it has taken a while with my super slow speed. But on the upside, this running around, anytime you're moving, basically, you get... Uh, Athletics XP. So this is going to be a good place to return to to loot the bodies once they're done fighting. Neither of these is aggressive to me unless they see me looting like their friend. So basically you let one side win before you swoop in. You swoop in for the kill. Or for the steal anyway. Um, oh, are you guys going to attack me? Oh no. Oh no. I, I actually don't know what this is. Are you going to try to capture me? Emaciation and poverty. Think me stupid? Oh. Oh, you're a cool guy, actually. Or lady. Wow. No kidding, he fed me really well, too. So, being poor and being starving is illegal. It's crazy. Okay, so... <laughs> what were they called? The U United Cities? The United Cities are weird guys. Yeah, I'm just passing through. I'll I'll be rich later, don't worry. Uh what was I saying before? I was politely interrupted, I guess. Uh <laughs> I was talking about looting the dead, I think. Yeah. If, like, they're same people catch you looting, you're in trouble. Uh, I should have taken notes for this, actually. Very long walking journey. Uh, this is why I was, like, very reticent to... Oh, look, I'm actually arrived at where I thought it was supposed to be. Is there not a town around here? I thought there was. Um, this is why I was very reticent to start like an LP of this. So this is probably going to be like a one-off or an occasional thing like I did with uh, Consuming Shadow. Just whenever I play, I do a recording. Yada yada. Oh, there's a, something over here. Another battle. Let's kind of avoid them in case they want to uh, throw me in jail for being poor. Dead or prison, I guess. Uh, was There's a lot of nothing going on. The game expects you to... Um, ooh. You're supposed to kind of just like roleplay. You pick your own uh, place in the world. You decide what you want to do with your character. Are these holy, holy chosen here? Yeah, it's a paladin, so should be fine with them. I believe this is where I want to go. Um. So there's a lot of downtime. There's a lot of grind. As you can see, uh, you gain XP for doing anything over time. So you have to basically spend a couple hours at the beginning of the game getting money to hire uh, squad mates. And where is that town? And get up your skills, your strength by carrying heavy stuff around. Is this not it? So lost. Sinkun. I'm in the wrong place completely. Like over here? I guess we'll try it. Um, like this is the max speed you can simulate things. I could move faster if I had like dropped some things, but I want to make some money when I get to that town. If I can ever find it, jeez. Um, so there's a lot of just me making conversation with you, which is... Oh, what? I'm, I'm being attacked? 
I'm being attacked. What do you guys want? Outlaw rebel farmers. Well, you know what? I don't care if you kill my dog. Which is callous, I know. But it is just a dog, and I have to feed it, and I don't really have the food to feed it. <sighs> How about you take these things? I'm still sort of overweight, but I should be able to escape now. I hope. Oh, they're still way faster than me. Oof. Oof to oof. Oh no. You kind of juke? Ah. Why do I do a lady sound? Okay, well... You can kind of juke at the last second. And there's, when they start their swing animation, you can like evade by changing direction quickly. But they were so much faster than me, I just really have a choice. Chance, rather. So they're going to kill my dog. Oh, and I'm at dying. Uh, I can heal myself up once I get up, basically. Oh, that sucks. Well, that's the start of this game for you. Um... Notice they didn't loot me. Uh, there's a lot of downtime that's going to be waiting for me to get up and then heal myself and then hobble over to find that town if I ever can. Uh, so I feel like that's not super interesting to watch. Just me like walking around in the desert, which is literally what you're doing. Like To get your athletics and strength skills up, you're just walking around. And to get money, you're just walking over to battles and picking up stuff from corpses. I mean, it's not super exciting. It's super interesting to cause... Uh, I guess it would be emergent storytelling. Like, because I just got taken out by those outlaws... I can write myself like I can imagine that my character is super does not like outlaws now. They kind of left him to die in the desert and killed his dog. <laughs> so uh in that way, like I understand the early game is like uh oh these guys. United Cities. Oh you're gonna you're gonna capture me because I'm destitute and laying on the floor dying? I guess that would be okay, I would survive. But this is just the start of the game, so I'm not super worried about dying. You gonna go kill those guys that beat me up? Looks like it. Um It's like the start of a game of StarCraft. Uh the start determines how the entire game is gonna go, but that start is super boring and pretty much done the same way every time, so it's not that interesting to watch. <laughs> You kind of wait till the mid game of StarCraft before it starts getting really cool. You see the big battles. Um, so in that way, I kind of didn't want to make this a full LP because I would basically just play for a couple hours and record and show highlights. That would be like 10 minutes worth. Like this would be a highlight of me getting chopped down when trying to escape. And then I would cut out time until I was back awake and running and picking up my faithful dog, which I don't know if I'll be able to rescue or not. Oh, he's getting back up, I think. But this game also has physics. They did... Oh. Oh. This is called a skimmer. It's a giant animal, and they will eat you if they catch you lying on the ground dead. So I could have lost limbs there, but apparently it didn't want me. Ugh. Uh. Yeah. Oh, is there any way to get back up once I'm at dying status? Ever? Find out. Actually... Max speed. Usually what happens is you go into what's called a recovery coma. 
if you have no uh oh, dog meat died oh well uh if you have no medical attention paid to you you'll just go into a coma and uh wake up much much later than if you had been medicked and stabilized properly But it looks like that's not happening here. I just went straight to dying. Huh. I guess I don't really understand all the mechanics of... Um... Oh. Yep. That's game over. Cool. Good game. <laughs> Thanks for watching, Kenshi. Uh, <laughs> I'm sure I'll do something else with this that's a little more interesting than me walking 10 feet and dying. But... It just comes down to, like, RNG, basically. And maybe I'll get a character up a little bit and show you some of the slightly higher level things than walking in the desert and getting killed by one single bandit because you're too weak to fight even that. <laughs> so, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.